Hey guys, it's Yanni here and I'm back with another Lightroom tutorial for y'all. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly edit multiple photos all at once so that you don't have to go in each and every single photo and edit in every single one of them. So here, as you can see, I have at least, I think, 69 photos that I took last night during my birthday and we just took some portraits and everything like that. So first things first, let's go ahead, open one image and we go to develop. And from here, oh, by the way, I'm still shooting in raw. I always shoot in raw and I'm going to repeat that in every single video. I'm shooting in raw and I'm using my Canon 5D Mark II and I was using the cheapest lens at Canon ever made, which was the 15 millimeter 1.8 version 2 lens. It was the very plastic prime lens which is very sharp still so it's all good it does the job so first I touch the exposure I liked it to be a little bit overexposed and next I am playing with the contrast and vibrance that's it that's pretty much all I want from it but you can do whatever you want edit more settings if you want but in this tutorial or for what I like for this album, it's just going to be a very simple edit, nothing too crazy, and a little bit of vignette. That's it. That's all I want from it. Now, for you to apply this setting in this photo right here, normally if you wouldn't do this technique, you would be going in every single one of them, go to develop, and edit every single one of these photos. So you would have to go this and do the contrast. That would be a very time consuming. So what you could do is highlight all the photos, like so. Choose the photo that you edited, which, one, which was this one. The rest of these photos are not edited yet. They are not touched yet. So you would click the photo that you edited, go to develop, and this button right here that says sync, synchronize, so click that and these there should be a pop-up box like this and all the boxes are checked but I normally uncheck the white balance because that usually screws up the white balance of the other photo photos so I trust the camera automatic white balance so I check the rest of the boxes the rest of the settings and I hit synchronize So, by doing that, the rest of the photo should be edited the same settings that I did for this photo right here. So, here we go. If we go next, there we go. Before, after, before, after. So now, what I normally do is I just go through each one of them one by one and make sure they're the right exposure. We know that the color is right already, so what I normally do is just go back and make sure everything is right, right exposure. Because as you can see earlier, it was a little bit overexposed, it was around here. So I'll just go in every single one of them. What you could do is you click exposure, and it says modify exposure right there. And on your keyboard, you can, right beside the delete button, there's the plus sign and the minus sign. If you're using Mac, those are the button that I use to adjust whatever I clicked. In this case, it's the exposure, modify exposure. So I just press the button and there's like a 0 0.05 or 0.10 increments. And in the next photo, again, it's a little bit too, too overexposed and adjust that. That's good. That's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Perfect. So that's pretty much what I do. If you have multiple photos that you would like to edit all at once, so you don't, you don't have to go through each and every single one of them. So this technique is very perfect if you're photographing events, usually taking pictures of people at the event, or weddings, usually at the reception, because light would be 
the exposure, your exposure would be constant. You'll be using your flash most likely at the reception. And you can just copy and paste the exposure. So there you have it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to click like in this video, subscribe in this channel, and follow me in all my social media link down below in the description box. And if you'd like me to do other tutorials in Lightroom or Photoshop, just comment down below or tweet me which can be found on my description box. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.